Welcome to the Norman Nick Show. I am Norman. If you're new to the channel, make sure you do all the little whatever it needs to be done um, after you watch the video. Now, as far as the content that's on today, I got a special treat for you. This is one of my top 10 uh, most disturbing interrogations I've ever seen. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Kevin Davis, but oh my God, let's get right into it. She was the best mother that you could ask for. She, you know, she just, she worked two jobs. Today, it took a jury less than an hour to decide that Davis should spend the rest of his life in prison. Kimberly Gonzalez, the lead prosecutor, told 3 News this case will be remembered as one of the most gruesome murder trials. The crime scene was like something out of a movie. The things that Kevin Davis confessed to doing um, to his mother and the ways that he hurt her uh, were things that you don't normally see every day. And it was really difficult to present evidence to a jury in a way that allowed them to understand what he did to this woman, but still respect the fact that they're normal everyday people who don't see the things that we see as prosecutors day in and day out. telling you before I talk to you, we just need to read your right, make sure you understand, you know, what, what's going on. Uh, right now you're accused of murder. You understand that? Okay. Today's uh, March 27, 2014. The time is 11.45 a.m. And your full name is Kevin Jess Jessereel, Jessereel Davis. Okay. And your date of birth. Detective Ramiro Torres, is Detective Richard Garcia. Okay, let's go over these rights. Make sure you understand them. First one is you have the right to remain silent. Any, any statement you make at all, any statement you make may be used against you at your trial. Is that right in initial here? Okay. Number two is any statement you make may be used as evidence against you in court. Number three, you have the right to have a lawyer present to advise you prior to and during any question. You understand that? Okay. Four, if you are unable to employ a lawyer, you have the right to have a lawyer appointed to advise you prior to and during questioning. You understand that? And then the last one, you have the right to terminate this interview at any time. You understand that? Yeah. Can you read this out loud for me? <coughs> These rights were read or explained to me before the statement. I do hereby, knowingly, intelligently, and voluntarily, waive the rights listed above. No one has threatened me, forced me, or promised me anything to make this statement. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Okay, you can go ahead and sign it right here. David, time. Yeah. yeah. Today is uh, March 27th. The time is 11.47. Oh, sorry. Hey, you can put the time on here. It's okay. Um, oh, yeah. Put your initials by where you scratched up. Yeah, my mistake. And I'm supposed to scribble on an <laughs> official document. Hey, okay. no problem, Professor. 
can you put the, the year right here? Just put the 327 and the uh, year 14 right there. Just yeah, so they'll know what year this is. You should really know. Okay. Ah, cool. Ah. Saying earlier, you you've talked to some people. You want to get some stuff off your chest. Uh, you know, we're here to listen to you. Why are you here? What happened? You tell us what you know. What happened? Well, have you? Has anybody gone to the house yet? Do you really? We know what happened. We have, but we want to hear it from you. He's accused of killing his mother with a hammer on December 20. Or excuse me, on March 27th, police found Kimberly Hill dead in her apartment. A woman living on County Road 61 told police Davis had knocked on her door saying he just murdered someone and asked her to call 911. Today the jury watched the police interrogation where Davis admitted to the murder and more. We must warn you, what you're about to hear is extremely disturbing. Or we have an idea, you the only look at this. Start at the beginning, man. What, what caused all this? Well, the very beginning, I asked my mother for permission to die, or rather kind of com commit suicide, the sort of beating around the bush sort of thing, because, mm -hmm. well, well, that doesn't really matter why I wanted to kill myself. Sure it does. It does. I'm bored with life. I don't like life. Mm -hmm. I don't like people. I don't like living it, basically. There's really nothing, anything depressing about it. Just this what it is. And so... I wrote the note. I did. Where did you write the note? Around six, 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 seven inch. Today or yesterday? Yesterday. Yesterday. Okay. That's Sunday afternoon or morning? Afternoon. Okay. Okay. And then what happened? And then. Did she get upset with you? Kind. Well, no, actually. I molded over. And then on a whim, actually, I turned it over wrote a plan to kill both my mother and my sister, okay. quite frankly, because that's always been a thing of mine. Mm -hmm. I'm a bit of a pervert. Yeah. Um, is it like a, like a fantasy thing? And it is, mm -hmm. actually. Okay. So, that didn't happen. The best laid plans never work out, apparently, or at least the one scribbled on a piece of paper, uh, uh -huh. because she had decided she was sick of this stuff, and she was going to go send me to live with my sister again. And so I kind of left off in a fury and just did it right then and there. Okay. You did what? Well, I tried to strangle her with a cord, mm -hmm. a ripped cord from a video game console controller. That didn't work, huh? What was this out of your brother's finger? She was sitting on the couch okay. watching TV. Okay. That didn't work out too well. She started screaming, and so I went to her room, mm -hmm. opened a drawer at the very bottom to the right, I pulled out a hammer, I went back in the living room, and well, you kind of get the gist from there. And, uh, she was out pretty quickly, kind of tried to play dead at first, but then I finished it. So you hit her with a hammer when she was sitting in the, in the sofa in the living room? No. First, I tried to strangle her, and uh -huh. that didn't work, right. she grabbed the cord, so I raced back into her room, mm -hmm. grabbed the hammer, came back out, and then did it. Okay. How, many times? How many times did you with that in the living room? At least 20, but then she was still alive. I dragged her into the room, as you probably clearly saw, and then I picked, uh, kind of warmed my hands into her brains to kind of just, just cut it. Mm -hmm. She was still snoring. Okay, so she was still alive? She was still alive. Actually. And you went in there and you kind of grabbed those brains? Yeah, mm -hmm. finished it. Alright. So did you use a knife on her? Actually, I was going to, but no, I didn't get to do that. Did you, t well, did you, I guess you never got to stab her with a knife? No. It was all with a hammer? It was all with a hammer Wh in my hand. Where did you hit her with a hammer? The head. All in the, all in the head area? All in the head, I believe. She, I may have gotten her hand because she was covering herself. Okay. Uh, is this uh, in the front or the, or the back of the head? Top, back, mainly. Mm -hmm. No, actually the entrance wound is around yonder somewhere here. Okay. And then, uh, so when when you dragged her to the the living room, I mean to the bedroom, you kept on hitting her there. 
Yeah, I kind of went That's where the, uh, uh, that's when you reached in and grabbed the brain? Yeah, I kicked at it a bit. Then I just, uh, that was kind of silly, but then yeah, I just decided to reach in and kind of just, just do it. Mm -hmm. And then what did you do after that? Then I had sex with her corpse. You did? Mm -hmm. Did you come inside her? I did, actually. Have you ever done that before, like had sex with her? No, yeah. I haven't, actually. This was just the first time? Oh yeah, I lost my virginity to a corpse. Okay. Uh, did you change in the bathroom? Did you? I did. I even, I took a bath before then. My penis really, well that's a little personal, but yeah, mm -hmm. I needed to clean it off. And so, um, <laughs> and then I, then I changed, yeah. Okay. Uh, what about your sister? What's your sister's name? Uh, Desiree Hill. Is she okay? She is okay, yeah. Okay. Where does she live? At an apartment actually very near here. Um, that big kind of Hispanic thing, I mean like Spanish looking building. Mm -hmm. It's an old apartment complex with a code. Was it a, a fantasy of yours to kill her as well? It and was. did you write down that on, on your note? Oh, I did actually, but I decided against it because, well, I had my fill of killing. I didn't seem a little much. Mm -hmm. Now, as far as doing the background check on the sister, I didn't want to disclose her new information because she has been able to move on. And here's just some of the pictures, as you can see, of uh, her life moving on. So thank God that she was not killed by her brother. Back to the show. A little too excessive, yeah. So, uh, so after you, uh, you went in and you killed her, and you made sure that she was dead by grabbing her brain and moving it around, uh, then you took her clothes off, or, or was she already unclothed? Uh, actually, I had to drag her by her clothes to get her in there. It was very laborious, actually. Mm -hmm. She has a pretty big woman, she's heavy. Yeah. Hey, is she your natural mother? She uh, logical mother? Yeah, actually, she is my natural mother. Mm -hmm. I take after my father. Okay. Hey, what, what kind of thrill did you get by uh, having sex with her? I had always loved my mother, I guess in the wrong sort of way, but a kind of love, I guess. Maybe some rage. Okay. Maybe just a little. Was in a fro Freudian style? Freudian? Uh, I kind of get where you come from. Sure, why not? Yeah. All right. It's just a sad situation. It's all uncalled for. I mean, he didn't have to do that. You know what I mean. Yes, sir. And, uh, I'm sorry, uh, you just don't take your mother's life. Tearful words from the father of murder victim Kimberly Hill. It was back in March when 18-year-old Kevin Davis beat his mother to death with a hammer and then sexually abused her. Davis's sister, Desiree Hill, told jurors that she was close with her mom, describing Kimberly as a good woman. Uh, have you killed anybody else before? I have not. You just fantasized about it? I just fantasized, yeah. Okay. What, what got you to this point? Tell us about what got you to this point. Did you hate life? You wanted to commit suicide? Oh, what did you say about it when you told her you wanted in a roundabout way to commit suicide? She said no. She said yes. What uh, did she say to you? She said, um, Basically, I'm a grown man, and what I do, I she can't really stop me. She was, and no, she was distraught over it, of course. I mean, she, of course, of course. Yeah, she said she'd cope with it. I mean, if you kill him, that's kind of why she wanted me to go away. Why she called my sister to come pick me up, and that's kind of why I just left. So she, at that point, you got pissed. Not necessarily. I just knew it was time to act now, now or never. How, how long have you had this thought you went? It's around my preteens, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you ever seek uh, any kind of atten me uh, medical attention, psychological? Uh, do you feel that you can cope with that? Uh, nope, I never really seek help, actually. Mm -hmm. I just accepted it as a part of me. I wasn't really ashamed of it. Mm -hmm. It just was what it was. Uh, what kind of? Well, let's talk about the notes that you wrote. Uh, how many notes did you write? Three. Three. Uh, there was one in the living room. Yeah. That one was addressed to who? Desiree, my sister. Because mm -hmm. I knew she would 
Uh, she's a good girl, but rather sensitive. I, mean, I knew she would lose her head if she kind of saw that. Do you remember what the note said? Uh, keep your head. Hurry. She might still be alive, although I highly doubt it in parentheses. Mm -hmm. Something along those lines. Yeah. Sincerely but when you wrote the note, you knew your mom was already dead. Oh, yeah, I knew yeah. it. And, you know, so it was you just messing with, with Desiree by writing that, that she might still be alive? Yeah, my sick sense of humor. Okay. I was pretty well off my rocker by then. Alright. And then there's a second note in, 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 in uh, your mom's bedroom. What did that one say? Do you remember? Chase me. Was that addressed to the police or, or to who? I, I was just in a, I was in a very playful mood at the time. Okay. I just, well, I just wanted to run. I just wanted to see how far I could get. But yeah. So what, uh, uh, your plan was to leave town? Uh, or what, uh, according to one of the notes that you wrote? Oh, yeah, exactly. but a bus, yeah, the, gray, the Greyhound bus. Mm -hmm. I was going to try to get out of the state or anything, okay. really. But I guess something else happened. You ended up at somebody's house? No, what actually. What happened? I told you my plan was foiled because she wanted <coughs> to. She talked to me. She said my sister's going to come pick me up now, like mm -hmm. in a few minutes, uh -huh. go live with her, and that's when I said it's time to act, okay. now or never. Oh, I see. I just went over the, to their house to <coughs> use their phone, and then they wanted... I was using their phone, so I thought I might as well tell them when they asked me mm -hmm. questions. I mean, they had questions on using their phone. And Where was this at? Where did you end up at? Ultimately, I ended up in the backwoods of a ditch. Here in town or out of town? Um, Robstown. In Robstown. How did you get over there? In Corpus Christi, I biked halfway, and then I got to the train tracks, and then I ditched the bike in the thick woods, and then from the train tracks, I just walked. To Robstown? Yeah. Okay, and then you w came up to the, was it like the first house that you saw, or how did you, oh, how yeah. did you go to this house for to, ask to use the phone? Initially, my plan was just to run, run, run as far as I can, but then I ended up crying my eyes out in like the thick woods, like, oh, uh, what did I do? And I realized, oh, mm -hmm. you don't know what you lost till you've already lost it. And so I just... I knew that my life wasn't going to go anywhere, not anymore, so I just kind of gave it up midway. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so you, what, what brings you here other than your life? Is you just give up on life now and just you need to tell somebody what happened, basically, right? I guess, yeah. Your insights is your, you, you want to do one thing, but your insights tells you more, like your heart, right? You're talking out of your heart. You feel sorry you did this to your mom? In a way, yes, but I wouldn't take <coughs> back what I did. It's strange, really. Mm -hmm. I did love her. In a way. Uh, Has uh, she been mean to me? To oh, me? no, no. She's been the best mother. Okay, so she is. Nothing that she did? Oh, to absolutely nothing. No, she If I was to ask you, what did she do to deserve this? What would you answer? Absolutely nothing. I'm just, I'm a terrible, I'm terrible a cruel, person. disgusting person. Yeah, basically. How'd you come up with the idea to kill her and have sex with her? Did it, it, it How did I come up with it? Yeah, was it? It's been a developing just, idea. Uh, my mm -hmm. But you haven't gotten ideas from games or videos or you're not into that? Uh, some of those some uh, dark games? Some things inspired me, but they did not necessarily plant the seed. Mm -hmm. You get me? They didn't plant the seed, but they did egg me on, rather. I guess. Is that the book you've been reading? Not necessarily. I watched them. I got actually. I recently got into watching some of uh, some foreign movies, creepy stuff. Not oh. necessarily mainstream horror. The oh. kind of stuff that you keep away from. Oh, okay. okay. So are you into witchcraft? Anything mm, like that? No. Not. Ra I guess it sounds kind of um. I'm, I'm just interested because it's something unusual and you're here telling us about it and you appear to be a nice guy. You appear to be a good guy. You know, you know you're not yelling and screaming you at You seem very rational. You're, you're very rational. You appear uh, to be a good guy. That's what I'm trying to figure out. That's all. Uh, well, despite how I ended her life, I'm kind of more fascinated by the more artistic ways of murder, the meticulous manner, the way they cut them open just slice them to pieces with, I mean, such care, such love. And so where, did the, where did the hammer come from that you used? 
from her drawer. Okay. Yes. And now after you killed her, you just left it there, the hammer? I did. Yes, because you saw a hammer there next to her body. That's, that's mm -hmm. the one you used? Mm-hmm. Okay. And there was some blood in the knife, but you said you never used it? I guess just blood just from where you grabbed it around the... Oh, that knife. Actually, I used that to stir her brains up a little, but then that didn't really work out, so I just kind of decided to delve on it. And Did you do that in the living room or the bedroom? Because we found that in the... It wasn't in the bedroom. Did I may have started that. So yeah, actually, I used the knife in the living room, and then I... Didn't I take it with me? So the, her brains were already kind of coming out when in the living room when you dragged it? Yes, but she was still snoring like a baby, and so I just kind of grabbed her. Explain to her how you grabbed her so that you wouldn't leave such a mess in the carpet. <sighs> that... Did you carry her from underneath the arms and just dragged her, or how did you drag her? It was very sloppy, actually. Yeah. I kind of just winged it. I dragged her from her shirt. I dragged her by her legs. I dragged her by any way I kind of fell. I mean, okay, okay. I don't really exert physical labor to, mm -hmm. so I'm not a very strong person. She's bigger than you are. Yeah. She's bigger than you are. How many uh, siblings do you have? Is it just you and Des Desiree? I do have a half-brother, actually, but yeah. I haven't seen him in a long while. Does he live here in town or no? He doesn't. Okay. What, how about that? Was that? In, in, he never in, he's not in the picture of your dad? Uh, no, not really. He's, he's an idiot. He's, a, he's an idiot. Mm -hmm. Do you have an idea what he said? <sighs> Probably somewhere in Fort Worth, maybe. Mm -hmm. And you lived there with your mom at the Windrush Apartments? What's the apartment number? 1707. Okay. Uh, which, you have a, your own bedroom there? I do. Okay. All right. So the note where you wrote the plan that you were going to leave town and kill your mom, kill your sister, that was the one that we found there. We found it in one of the bedrooms. Not where your mom was, but the other one. That's your, that was your room? Yeah, two bedroom apartment. The big blank, yeah. sloppy looking. Yeah. Okay. And, but your sister didn't live with you guys. She did. Okay. There was a magic marker there on top of the little desk here in your room. Magic marker. Like permanent a, marker. Like a marker. Permanent oh, marker. Okay, permanent marker. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Is that the one you used? It was on a little like folding table. Uh, uh, is that where you wrote your notes? I think I just grabbed a piece of like my old schoolwork and just kind of. How do you do in school work? I'm going back to school, how do you do in school work? Pretty mediocre. I never really, I never really could muster, but to mm -hmm. even really care. I mean, I guess I excelled in English for all that was worth. Okay. How about uh, sports? No, I, I don't like sports. You don't like sports? Football? I know, that. I know you're a little small for football, but... Oh. You know. What school did you go to? Ray High School. Ray? And you were in 10th grade? Yeah. All right. Do you ever tell anybody else what your plans were? Uh, that you know what you wanted to do, your mom or your sister? No, but over the years there were hints. As a younger boy, I was a a lot dumber, a lot more angsty. You know, I said things, but I guess they basically brushed it off. I guess the hints were everywhere, but they're my family. Family looks past that kind of stuff, or they try to not look at it. Mm -hmm. I guess. Let me ask you. At this point, what do you consider yourself? You consider yourself. I'm going to use a dirty word, okay? But I, I don't mean oh. to, I don't mean to insult you, no okay? Do so you consider you mentally disturbed? Do you consider yourself crazy? Do you what do you consider yourself? Any of those? No. Or you think you're okay? You just got some bad thoughts. I'm not mentally disturbed. I mean, I'm sane. I know exactly what I did. I know that it's wrong in the, tradi in the traditional no. sense of wrong. Hello. It was just a fantasy you had, and yeah. you had to carry it out. Carry it out. Yeah. yeah. Not yet. Now I feel vaguely um, right. Right. kind of like I'm done. Mm -hmm. So, do you still feel like they, well, you're done with your mom. Do you still feel like you want to keep on killing? To keep on, you know, with other fantasies? Or, or how do you feel? came here to pay for my crime, so I guess I should continue with the truth. Mm -hmm. Truthfully. Yes, definitely. I would kill again. Mm -hmm. How about us? You think you want to kill us? Oh, no. Rather, men aren't my thing, actually. You're women? Yeah. Okay. Do uh, 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 you have a girlfriend? I don't. You I've don't never had a girlfriend. Never had a girlfriend. I tell you what, give me your fancy of killing a woman. Oh, your fancy killing would be, your ace killing, what could that be? This is a little peculiar. I'm on camp. Okay. Um, 
<laughs> I'm not surprised at what I'm going to hear, but uh, you tell me. Maybe dressing up in a nice suit, sneaking into her house, disabling her boyfriend. You know, yeah, I, I'd bring a pretty dress with me to dress her up in. I I was always into strangling, but after after that last um, blunder, I guess maybe something big and sharp would be more along uh, more along my thing. Mm -hmm. And I could, I don't know, probably decapitate her, as I, I prefer my women dead. Um, okay. I'd dress her up. I'd stitch her up. Kind of just kind of try to work the head back on, perhaps. And um, then I'd go to town, and it would be a night to remember. Mm -hmm. And then I'd kind of just burn everything and run for the hills. Now you, you mentioned that you lost your virginity to a corpse. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about that? What happened? Oh, well, just last night, my mother, yeah. Okay, you, not somebody else. You talked no. about your mom. Yes. Okay, so before that you had never had sex. Well, uh, I guess since I'm being yeah. quiet about it, I might as well tell you now. I Yeah, and it's on the note, too, the P.S. part. Mm -hmm. uh, we used to have a gray cat named um, Claire. Oh, yeah, bestiality is a thing of mine, too, mm -hmm. now, now you know. And so I... Um, I strangled it, I drowned it, and then I cut it open, and you know the rest, mm. kind of get the rest. You had sex with the cat, with the dead cat? Cool. Yeah, ripped it open, stuck it in there, yeah. Mm. Uh, you, you ever had sex with a live person? No. No. So that, your thing, uh, uh, having sex with a live person, that doesn't turn you on, it's uh, dead? Dead thing, dead person, dead animals, that's what turns you on? I don't necessarily mind. I don't have standards or morals. Mm -hmm. Body's a body, and in the end, it's a piece of meat. I guess it's harsh to say, but. Mm -hmm. But no, I don't necessarily mind. How about the idea of hurting yourself? Do you have the same idea now? Huh? Do you have the same idea that you want to hurt yourself, commit suicide? No, it's all for me. I'm it's going to. I will face the music, whatever happens, happens. Yeah. There's not a happy ending for me yet. Well, just tell me, what do you think should happen to you? What do you think your punishment should be? Uh, whatever the judge, the people, the jury deem fit, I can rot, I can suffer for years, or I can be given the death penalty, whatever they think is for me. What do you think you deserve? Killing your mom? I and sex with your mom? I just deserve there. to rot and suffer. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just it is what it is. Okay, I want to give you some options here. Okay. Ten years probation, twenty years in the pen, a hundred years in the pen. What do you prefer from those series? Name them again. Probation, ten years. Twenty ten years in the pen, fifty years, a hundred years in the pen. A hundred. The, the maximum. But I suppose. I mean, I man, I admire your mind, man. You, you, you don't sit here and try to baby yourself to death. Came here to face the music, I guess. Just kind of. Yeah. Right. Is, uh, Thank you, brother, man. Anything else you want to add uh, about what happened that's important that we should know? Not really. I'm mm -hmm. sure interested in other colorful details. Have you ever heard your sister? No, I haven't. No. Anybody else? No. Nope. She didn't ever kill anybody else or anything else? Oh, no. Yeah, that was my first. Was, uh, you ever been on Blucher Street? Mm hmm. Or you ever been on Blucher Street? Uh, is he referring to like Blucher Street? Blucher Street. Blucher Street. You know where Blucher Park is? I uh, haven't. It's a large area of uh, Karankawa, Tankawa. It's down the street here in the uptown area. I had a, a woman that was killed in uh, that thing. Uh, so. Oh, no, not me. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is the first alert. time you're saying, right, that you killed somebody? Yeah. A person, mm -hmm. not an animal? <coughs> yes. Do you want to know what's going to happen to you now? Oh, sure. Okay, very simple. You're going to be booked at the, uh, the county. First, you're going to take the city facility, you charged with murder. Then you will be uh, uh, transferred over to the county. 
where, of course, uh, you're going to come to jail. They'll set a bond for you and everything else, and if you can afford to get out of jail, that means so be it. And if you can't, you ship them to jail your trial. Okay? You, the trial, you can plead not guilty, and you can go to trial and let a jury decide if you're guilty or not, or you may be able to cut a deal with a district attorney for whatever time you, you want to cut a, cut a deal for. Okay? Mm -hmm. Spare the spare the jury. You know, uh, in a jury, uh, of course, a, a jury of 12, you probably might have several women or several men. The thing to remember is all those people have had mothers in the past. And then they may not be too proud of you. Oh, of course. I don't expect people to think very highly of me after this. Hey, but, but like I said, I, I admire you for your honesty. You were honest with us, and, and you didn't cut bush us. Okay, and, and, and you're like a man. You came out here and, and took it like a man. So uh, around what time was it that you did this to your mom yesterday? Probably uh, ended around 8-ish, 9-ish. Night time? Yeah, night. Okay. And then that's how th what time did you leave the apartment and, 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 and ride off on your bike? Maybe around 9-ish, 10-ish, late night. Late 9. And then today is when you ended up at that house in Rockstown? Yeah. Okay. Um, Where would your bike be at? Probably in the undergrowth around the train tracks, just a little east of that house. But it's really deep in... No, wait, you said my bike? Mm -hmm. Okay, I was talking about my other stuff, but... My bike is, I, I was going nowhere at the time, I don't even remember the street I was on, I just kind of stuffed it in the undergrowth near, a, near the railroads. Near the railroads in 44 or what? No, it was kind of a residential area. I remember going down a steeper hill with my bike, and it's like, I just ditched it, wasn't worth much, and I asked I kind of rode it a little hard, of course. Mm -hmm. Do you know how to drive? I don't know how to drive. Oh, is that why you didn't take your mom's car? Exactly. Your mom's car is still parked there, though. Did anything happen to your mom's car? Oh, nothing. Okay. If we were to take you, would you go show us where the, where the bike is and the what? Oh. Could you do? Could you do that? I don't remember the the street name, but I could help. Yeah. Okay. Make sure you recover your bike. What well, kind of bike is it? What does it look like? It's rad, very dirty. Is now. it like a ten speed, like or a BMX BMX type bike, or six speed? Six speed. Yeah. And uh, which, when you left their apartment, which way did you go? I kind of zigzagged around, zigzagged around like an idiot because I had no idea where I was going to go. And I, it was a little leisurely because, I mean, after you murder someone, after you cross that kind of line, you don't really think much about it. Okay, so would you say you went down, way, down Highway 44 all the way down to Rockstone? <coughs> I think I did pass over that pass thing. I don't... I mean, I passed by a car dealership. I don't, I don't remember quite okay. frankly. You mentioned the other things. When I, you mentioned bikes, I thought you meant the other things. What other things are out there? Oh, I'm just talking about my backpack and other things. Yes, let's go show that up. And which is way down, far the line, just a little east of the house I ended up at in Cal Allen. So it's mm -hmm. yeah, Cal Allen and mm -hmm. stuff. By, by the railroad tracks? Yeah, Corpus Christi bike, but it's Cal Allen stuff, backpack and whatnot, is really stuck underneath the undergrowth, yeah. Okay. I'm going to try to recover that, uh, hoping we can find it. Would it be all right for you to take it down there once we find that the railroad? Oh, you want me to? Yeah, I can show you. Okay. Let us, I'll tell you what, uh, let us get through with the rest of the people we have here. And then we can hop in the car and, uh, uh We'll take it down there and we'll try to recover your backpack and, and, and your bike and, and, and go from there. Okay. Is there anything in, in your backpack full of blood or anything else that you can worry about? I don't believe so. Just some supplies I kind of just threw in there. Yeah, you said you took a shower at the house and everything, right? Oh, I did, yeah. So you were covered in blood? I was covered in blood. My glasses, everything. It was a mess. Okay, right now we're going to put you in another room over here. We'll shut it down. Then they will go from there. Would you care for more water or anything? Uh, it's up to you, man. I, I, I got it in the refrigerator if you want it. I think I'm fine. I'll just finish this. Oh, okay.
where a man came across like a man. I mean, uh, not like somebody else. You, you came across like him. You did what you did, and you came to the city. Man, I admire men like that. I, I work I work this kind of stuff all the time, and 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 you get a lot of time, but a lot of times people all of a sudden did something, and all they want all they want to do is move out of it. You want to take responsibility. You're a different person. My life's taken a different turn. Time to change that. Uh, Next thing over here. So we've been in. Are you Hank? Up right? Yeah. I will. Uh, we need to find your sister just to, make, just to make sure that she's okay. You said you didn't hurt her, right? I did not. Uh, we're trying to call her on the phone. We can get her. Does she go to school? No, she doesn't go to school currently. Oh, okay. Because we thought maybe she was at college or something. What is she, does she work? She works at Mesquite Bar and Grill, I believe. Um, That's the one in uh, Saratoga? A, I would not know, yeah. but probably. And her name is Desiree Desiree Hill. Hill. Yeah. How old is she? Um, 24. Do you know her phone number? I'm sorry, I don't know if I have it now. I'm sorry, if I was to give you the number, would you tell me if it's right or not? Oh, you have numbers? I don't know if I have numbers or not, but I got a little. 459 7215. Does that sound right? Oh, where are you getting these numbers from? It kind of sounds familiar. Oh, uh, I'm getting the numbers from the house. I guess you could try. It kind of sounds vaguely familiar. You could does, try. It have, does it have a 361 area code? It does. Yeah, it has 361. 361. Yeah. Uh, whose area code is 443? Hmm? 443, whose area code is that? I wouldn't know. I, it kind of rings a bell, maybe something on my mother's contacts, but I wouldn't know. Okay. Let me get a key for this stuff. Okay. Let me get a key for this Okay. Is this, is this the number you have? The number you have? Yeah. Uh, does, that, does that sound familiar, that number that you detected? Uh, 549 times, does it have 361? Uh, no, this one has the area code of uh, 443, I think. Yeah, it may be under her dad's name. 443 like is the area code. 449. But does she have a local number? Did, uh, last time you talked to her on the phone, when was it? Well, I have a list of contacts, so I never bother to remember mem numbers by memory. Whose phone is in the floor? Is it yours? Is it the people? A phone in the floor in the bedroom? Oh, that should be another. In my bedroom. No, hers. Uh, I believe I left her phone in the living room. Was it pink? Yeah. Okay, then that, that is definitely hers, wherever it is. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, I thought it was familiar. That's right. It's Sergeant Garcia, Mr. PD. Please call me at this number that I've called you on and talk to you for that. Uh, uh, I just talk to you. Sir, I'm sorry. Where could she be at now, uh, Parker? Probably sleeping since last I checked she works late. And you remember that apartment I told you that's nearby here? Yeah. Uh, sort of Spanish set in. Yeah. Right. I forgot the name of it. the best mother that you could ask for. She, you know, she just, she worked two jobs.